if your team got together and held a vote and every player on your team had, had a vote, and one of the questions was, who is the best teammate in our program? Would you get voted for? And or what would be your qualifications for that? This is a very important question that I'm kind of introducing to talk about why it's very important to be a good teammate and what it means to be a good teammate. So if I was voting for a teammate, if you were voting for a teammate, hopefully you would be on that list. If not, you need to think, why would I not be on that list? What do I need to do better? But I would think for a teammate, here's a, here's a couple things to think about for you being a teammate and how you can improve as a teammate and as a leader. I would think, all right, who on this team pushes me to get better every single day or the most? Because there's going to be some players on your team, they don't push you at all. They just show up to practice to have fun. They don't really push you. So I'd think, who is challenging me on a day-to-day basis to help me get better? Number two, who competes against me in drills? Some players, they like to go in drills together because they can both go half speed and take it off but and, and take the drill off. But what player, what teammate in every single drill gets physical, fouls me, pushes me, challenges me, causes me to get frustrated because they're, they're going so aggressively? What teammate in drills does that? Number three, who on the team has the most consistent habits of excellence? Like there's going to be some players on your team, they're so inconsistent. One day they have a ton of energy, the next day no energy. One day they go hard in drills, the next day they don't go hard in drills. One day they're already sweating before practice, the next day they show up to practice 10 minutes late. There's going to be inconsistent players, but for you to be a great teammate, or if you're thinking about what teammates on my team are the best, you should think, who is the most consistent on my team? And then the last point, we could keep going with these, but the last point is, who's the most focused? When you're in a practice, there's a ton of things you can talk about. You could talk about what went on at school. You can talk about what's on TV. You can talk about who's in the crowd. You can talk about the game last night. There's endless number of things you can talk about that can distract you. But who on your team during practice, they forget everything else in the outside world, and they are 100% focused on the work and the practice that is right in front of them. So I'm bringing up those questions for you to think about, but also I want you to become a great teammate because it's going to help you improve as a player. It's going to help you. It's going to help your team, and then it's also going to bring you opportunities in the future. Maybe it'll increase the odds of you earning a scholarship, or maybe it'll increase the odds of you getting a contract, whatever it may be. Um, Being a teammate, being a great teammate slash leader, brings out the best in you, your teammates, and your team, and it's very, very valuable. So going into this season, season is right around the corner for a lot of us, I want to challenge you, be the best teammate possible and don't think, it's unimportant because it's very important. Um, this is part of a series of videos called the Champion Series. So you want to subscribe to this channel and go back and see as many of these videos as possible because they have a ton of tips that's going to help you with your mindset and your mentality going into this season. If you're looking for training and you want to get better at your skills and just become a more effective and skilled player, click on the first link below. I've got a training platform that you can create a free account with no card required. But other than that, I hope you found this helpful. hope you find my other videos helpful. If you're watching this entire series, I hope you're finding this series helpful. 